Hey friends and welcome back to my channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey and today I am bringing to you my April update. My April update, um, where do I even start? I'm really discouraged again this month. I have just really been struggling. Um, you know, there are some things that I have done that I've added to my routine that have really helped me this month. And there are some things that I have not been very good at. So I kind of wanted to just talk to you in general about what those things are and maybe talk to you about some things that I'm hoping to implement for the month of May. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I also kind of put off doing this update because I, you know, part of me just said no. I don't want to do it. I didn't even post my update on Instagram, which I usually do on the first of the month anyway. But I was just like, I'm so discouraged. I don't want to tell people how I did. So I'll talk about the weight. I uh, had finally lost a little bit of weight in March. Um, and this month I gained 6.6 .6 pounds. So I weighed in this month at 192 pounds. And um, I hadn't been in the 190s since like the fall of last year. So part of me says, I don't even know what's going on. Um, but the other part of me says, Kelsey, you know what's going on. You know what you're doing. You're, you're not doing it. So I made this video at the beginning of, I don't know, beginning of April, something like that. And this spring into action was going to be this big thing. And I was going to be doing these drastic changes to my diet. And I was going to make a lot of drastic progress. And um, something that I've learned over the last four to five weeks, I think it's been six weeks since I started that challenge. Um, it's just that I am an all or nothing person. I go hardcore crazy about things or I just throw in the towel and kind of give up. I had kind of hoped to do no dairy except for butter. I had hoped to do no sweeteners and no nuts. And those are all good things to kind of like get out of the diet. but. I think doing it all at once was just so drastic, I couldn't handle it. And so the butter, like it got to the point where I was just like eating butter, like because that was the one thing I decided I was allowed to have. Um, and it was just like, this is ridiculous. Nobody needs to eat a stick of butter a day. Now I know that there are high fat keto people or carnivore people that are advocating for a stick of butter a day, but you know, a stick of butter does not fit in my macros and it doesn't fit in my lifestyle right now. Like. I'm not afraid of butter, I'm not afraid of fat, but I would say <laughs> that a stick of butter does not fit in my lifestyle right now every single day. So also it doesn't fit in my budget, thank you. But yeah, so I've just been really struggling. So I have not stuck to my spring into action challenge at all with the constant snacking. Um, I've been really bad at snacking again. The kind of struggling in general and I, I can't quite put my finger on it except I think if I tracked my food I would make it would make a big difference you know I if I was watching how many total carbs I was eating I would know that I was eating too many um, so I think that's probably where I need to fix this and then the fasting has been difficult I actually haven't done an extended fast I haven't actually done an extended fast for a couple of weeks at this point I just I want to but my mind just it's not clicking in my brain to make my body do what my brain wants to do at this point so instead of stressing out about that I'm trying to do better at eating good you know keto meals and then we'll deal with the details as that those come along I would say while the diet thing and the fasting thing has been not doing well I have implemented some things into my daily schedule that I feel very proud of and I've been fairly if most if not mostly consistent I've been mostly consistent with these things so I have started cold plunging so it's been over 30 days that I've cold plunged four to five days a week sometimes six or seven um, but I usually miss a day in there because we've had a lot of cold rainy weather um, but yeah I have cold plunged most days of the week for four minutes a day um, so that has been I have been noticing some good benefits with that um, I think eventually I will do a video on what benefits I feel like I've been seeing I started cold plunging regularly 
and then I started getting up at five o'clock in the morning and I would say I've been very consistent with the five o'clock wake up it's been very good you know there have been like a few random days that I've slept in because sometimes sleep is more important than getting up with the sun you know um, and you have to listen to your body and listen to um, listen to your body. If you need rest, take the rest. It's not going to kill you to rest one day out of the week, but I've been much more consistent with that. I've been doing my quiet time with my devotional and my, um, journaling in the mornings. And I've also been doing a morning walk every single day. Um, rain or shine, honestly, it's been really good. Just two weeks ago, I started my couch to 5k because one of my goals for this summer was to run a 5k with my husband. So this past month, I started the couch to 5k program. So I am two weeks in and tomorrow I'll be starting my third week and it's going really well. I have not missed a day and it's rained every single day. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it, it is what it is. It's spring in Maine. It's been a very, very rainy spring. So it's been really difficult to um, push through, but I have been doing it. And I'm really proud of myself. So um, this month, for the month of May, my goal is to continue with the early wake ups. I'm going to finish the couch to 5k program in the next five or six weeks. My kids and I are actually going on a trip down to visit some family out of state. And we are I'm gonna be gone for like 12 days. So I will have to run away from home. I will have to um, stay keto and I will have to be doing that without the support of my husband. Thankfully, we have, we're going to see family so we have people that can watch my kids so I can go run for half an hour. Um, but my goal is to stay keto. My goal is to make sure I keep running as planned even though I'm out of town. So it's gonna be a real test of discipline um, because I just I just wanna keep making progress. I wanna start making progress again. Um, and I know that I can do it away from home. I just have to make myself do that. I would not say that I'm just throwing in the towel completely with my spring into action challenge. Um, I have added a lot of different habits to my daily schedule, but the whole non-dairy, no nuts, and um, no sweeteners thing, it, it has been really difficult. And of course, I said earlier, it's supposed to be a challenge, but um, sometimes for me, I just do so many goals. I put so many goals out there and then when I can't check all the boxes, I'm just like, forget it. Like I can't be perfect. I'm not going to do it. Um, I hope that you don't let yourself get discouraged. Don't let yourself talk, like tear you down because I think that really is my issue. My issue is that mentally I'm never good enough. Um, and it's hard hard to feel that way about yourself and you would never talk like I would never talk to my friend like this like I talk to myself I'm just like you're never gonna make it and that's not true like I have done this before and I have I can do it again and I will do it again and I will continue to do what I need to do to make things happen um I don't know I was one thing that I said in my in my keto support group uh today i brought up the fact that i actually have like this challenge group on facebook that i had it used to be active about four years ago and i was reading through some of my old posts and i was just like i was so much nicer to myself four years ago than i am now like i just <clears throat> and so i think i'm gonna read through those posts more and you know give myself a little coaching session and um, yeah so anyway I would like to encourage you to be kind to yourself you know like don't talk to yourself in a way that you wouldn't talk to your friends I don't want to make this video but I think it's really important to show people all of it the real stuff this is the real me this is me struggling to keep the weight off and to keep losing weight and but this is me struggling with my relationship with food this is me struggling with not letting the people around me um convince me that keto is unhealthy or that i'm 
because I'm not giving in to that key, that non-keto treat or that bread or whatever triggering food is there, depriving myself is just bad because I can't do everything in moderation. That is a lie for me. I can't, I can't eat everything in moderation. That's just not how my body works. My body becomes inflamed when I eat things that are not keto. And, um, I let the people around me get me down, even if they're not meaning to get me down. You know, it's just like having those things constantly in your face is hard. And so I want you to know that it's okay for it to be hard. And I want you to know that you can do it. And as always, I hope wherever you are today, you're having a great day and I'll see you soon, friends.